average outgoing quality is the number of defective that your consumer will receive in long term so we're going to show you that calculation here i'll create the operating characteristics curve for the average outgoing quality and the let's create to create uh, the operating characteristics curves we need a bunch of fake probabilities let's assume that these are the probability of defective in the lot so i have zero percent to all the way up to let's say 15 percent so one percent defective in the lot and assume that i have a lot of 5000 and i'm taking a, a sample of 100 um, so let's take a sample of 100 copy all the way down to that um, now the if the lot has um, this probability of defective sort of one 100 or in percentage you simply multiply by the percentage to so see it in percentage so this is the percentage of defective in the lot and let's take a sample size of 100 just to make things simple so the basically the average um, probably will make more complicated let's take 90 so I can kind of confused with that percentage so let's take a sample of 90 in the later video you will see how to calculate sample size so if I take a sample of 90 and that has the probability of defective this column a so you can do simply the total number of defective on an average will be the probability times the sample size so this is the average of the Poisson distribution now we can calculate the probability of acceptance using Poisson we can use use binomial as well uh, check that video where I explain that Poisson is exact same as binomial in terms of mathematics and also um, theoretical context so practical point of view mathematical point of view Poisson binomial they're kind of exact same now if I use the acceptance number two which means that um, if I get two or less defective in that sample of 90 I'll accept that lot so I'm looking for two or less defective so let's um, freeze that because I'm going to be calculating for all of them comma and the mean number of defective we calculate an NP0 for Poisson and then we're looking for cumulative because if it's zero defective in that 90 we'll accept that entire 5000 lot if it's one defective we'll accept if it's two defective we still accept so it's a cumulative situation you can type true or one uh, is keep uh, one is true in Excel so this is the probability of acceptance now once you accept a lot then you send it to the market and so the total probability that your customer will receive a bad product is first the lot has to be accepted times the uh, probability of defective in that lot so this is the probability for a lot to be accepted and then this is this is the probability lot to be accepted this is the probability of the customer will get a defective product now out of 100 simply multiply this by 100 just to kind of easy understanding percent is easy to understand than the probability so if you look at the percentage wise you can see that if the lot has no defectives zero defective then your customer gets zero defective product that's true now we might think that if the lot has more defective let's say 15 percent the customer will get more defective and you can see here customer will get zero defective because if you have more defective in the lot then there is a very high chance that the lot will be get lot will be rejected you can see the acceptance probability is only one out of a ten thousand so the acceptance is very very low so there is highly likely that the lot will be rejected if the lot is rejected then your customer will not get any defective products so um, it's not true that more defective in the lot your customer will get more because you're using this acceptance criteria too uh, there is a high chance that when you do sample of 90 you will find more than two defectives in any of the situation where you have more than two defective percentage why so you can see that around two or two ish you have the highest number of um, defective product that your customer gets and after that it start to decrease and after that it becomes almost zero because there will be highly likely that the lot gets rejected so the average outgoing quality one on average what's your customer get is um, 
is it, it is dependent on the acceptance uh, planning and sampling so in this case we are planning that we we'll only accept two maximum two defective in a sample of 90 and then in that kind of sampling plan this is what your customer will get if the historic probability is like that this is also a interesting advantage of acceptance sampling because if you don't do any acceptance sampling let's say you don't do any sampling so if your if your lot has this much defective then your customer will get exact same defective so you don't know don't do any sampling so this is what your customer get now if you plot that I didn't continue plotting after two because as you can see it's gonna go all the way over these graph points so as the so it's a, it's a straight line through the origin so the more defective you have the more 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 your customer will get basically if you don't do any any sampling plan with the sampling plan it will be cut by the acceptance sampling plan and then a lot of product will be rejected if there are more reject more bad products in the lot so then your customer will not eventually get defective product so the average outgoing quality will be kind of better whether you have bad defective products or less defective products i think this is one of the most advantages in acceptance sampling